Good morning everyone. Welcome to our next installment of Stay at Home Safaris. A little bit of a chilly morning today. The wind has picked up. We're expecting a cold front over the weekend. Uh, so you can see the impalas behind me. Uh, they also try to keep warm over these cold nights and it's actually called pilo erection. So what they'll do is they'll fluff up their coat a little bit, creating sort of air pockets, hot air pockets um, close to their skin. And that's how they'll stay warm on these cold winter nights. Really lovely to see another breeding herd of elephants. We've been very lucky in the past few days of the breeding herds sort of coming back and really enjoying the last few bits uh, that are left of the, the greenery that's around. So an interesting interaction between those two females, the one putting its trunk in the other one's mouth, either as a form of communication or a, or a greeting, or it may be just investigating what the other one is eating. Lovely to see three white-backed vultures there. Still a little bit too cold uh, for them to catch any thermals and, and start flying. So they're just perched for now. So a lovely scene on the clearing behind me, lots of impala, uh, wildebeest, zebras, waterbuck, beautiful pair of lilac breasted rollers as well. The wind is still quite strong, uh, so all of the antelopes tending to be out in the clearing so they can see around them. Because of the, the, the wind, the, the hearing has been taken away a little bit, so all of the impalas starting to alarm call, classic case of one impala starts alarm calling and the rest of them sort of follow suit. No predators or anything like that in the area that we can see but I think it's just because of the wind and they're a bit unsure of their surroundings but pretty amazing to see all of them out in the clearing. So after a little bit of a quiet morning, primarily because it's been very windy and that's the one thing that really does affect the game viewing and the movement of predators, luckily Greg managed to find Tamba, male leopard, 
He is on a big male waterbuck kill. Uh, whether he killed it or not, we're not sure. So pretty amazing just to be able to see him again and see what he's been up to. So a great view of Egyptian geese with their goslings, mostly known to be grazers, uh, so feeding on plants, uh, seeds, that kind of stuff, but often seen probing and dabbling in the shallow waters, uh, just looking for aquatic algae or any aquatic plants that they can find. So lovely to be able to sit with a nice breeding herd of elephants. They seem to be on a little bit of a mission, walking straight past the dam and walking into a drainage line and feeding along the way, but definitely walking with a purpose. Alrighty, we've just done a little bit of a loop back around to the northern side of that kill with Tamba. He's lying on the bank. We're just waiting for any action to happen. Possibly a hyena comes out. You never know what's going to happen as, the, as it starts to get a little bit cooler, a little bit darker. The predators come out and we'll see what happens. So just as we suspected, one hyena coming in just to investigate and we'll see what happens. So from the blood on the hyena's face, Looks like he's already been here uh, earlier on. So it's quite interesting uh, with especially the younger male leopards, ages sort of three, 
three and a half, four years old, they'll often take down bigger prey than usual. Uh, just testing out their strength, confidence is obviously quite high. And often they, they then will realize that they actually cannot hoist the carcass uh, and therefore lose it more easily than not uh, to predators like hyenas. So they'll soon figure out that the, the bigger prey, although uh, the reward, reward is great um, initially, the risk is high uh, in terms of it being quite a big prey and then they're not getting the full reward from the kill. Alrighty everyone, I think this is where we're going to leave Tamba and the hyenas. He seems quite content. The hyenas have moved off a little bit, getting quite cold. So I think we're going to head home. Stay safe everyone, stay at home and stay positive. Good night.